Hey, what's up guys? Spence Rhodes here. So in the Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 8 preview, it looks like we are finally, finally seeing the villain Logan again. We have not seen this character since the first episode of the season. We, we went literally six episodes straight without seeing him. <laughs> Uh, I guess he's going to be playing a bigger role in the back half of the season. I mean, at this point, it's hard not to assume that. This is only his second episode, and we are pretty much going to the two-month break after this Sunday's episode. So I'm guessing he will play a bigger role in the back half of the season. And I'm guessing he will be the main villain of the back half of the season. And I know that he's not quite a full-on villain yet. He kind of just took over his his old home and 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 got Morgan's group to to leave the Denim place and trick them into leaving. And you know he he but he didn't want to kill anyone. You know he didn't want to kill anyone. He told them on the radio that he he just wanted to get his place back without avoiding blood. You know avoiding bloodshed. And he took a lot of their stuff, took a lot of their food and supplies. Of course, you can kind of blame him for all the stuff that's happened since then, like Alicia getting infected and Morgan possibly getting infected with radiation and the possibility that the two of them will slowly die or something. But right now, Logan has not been a full-on villain. But who knows? Maybe that could change in this episode. In the preview, it shows that Sarah is talking to Logan trying to get him I believe she's trying to get him to help with their situation with, with the plane and everything and he doesn't really seem like he wants to help but you know Sarah's Sarah's very aggressive and she has a way with words so you know she's probably going to try to 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 like get Logan to do it and kind of be mad at him and 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 convince him to help them but I'm wondering, since this is episode eight, you know, this this is the mid-season finale. You know, will there be a major death? You know, will someone die? It seems like Alicia might die. It seems like John and Dwight might die because they're separated from everyone, and it looks like they they might be in trouble because they might not be able to get to the plane in time before the plant melts down, so they could die. Alicia's sick, so she could die from the radiation. It, it definitely looks like there could be a big death in this episode. But Sarah is talking to Logan, and, and right now Logan is the closest we have to a villain. So, so maybe Logan kills Sarah because he, he doesn't like this crap, and that, that's his way of sending a clear message to Morgan's group to leave him alone by killing Sarah. I mean, she's kind of an expendable character. She's not the biggest character in the show. She was introduced in the, the back six episodes of season four. And, I mean, she's, she's honestly lived longer than some people, including me, thought she would. So it's possible that he kills her. I mean, it's not like killing off Alicia or something, although it seems like they're trying to do that. <laughs> or it's a character that the show can't live without. So, yeah, they they could go there. They could kill her off. I mean, if Logan is going to be the main villain of the back half of the season, and it seems like he is going to be because they keep building him up so much, so he, he needs to do something that actually makes him dangerous, that actually elevates him to, to a really dark, twisted villain like the, like Negan or the Governor or the Troyado or the, or the Vultures or Martha. Something that actually makes him villainous. He, ac he has to actually kill someone. He, ac he has to actually present himself as a big threat to our characters. And killing Sarah just unexpectedly, shockingly, out of nowhere could do that. Like, you know, one minute he's this guy that just wants to be left alone, that told Morgan's group to, to leave him alone, but that plan didn't work out, so he goes darker and he kills Sarah, and it's like a slow motion thing, and, and maybe Wendell goes no or something, or maybe he kills both Sarah and Wendell. Another reason why I think this could be happening is because a few weeks ago, AMC released the poster for the back half of Season 5, and it shows every character, every main good guy character, except for obviously the kids. Um, it doesn't have Annie, Dylan, or Max, but they probably don't need to be on the poster. And it doesn't show Logan, but he's a villain. He doesn't really need to be on the poster. But it's all these characters together in, in some sort of group fighting pose, and it's Morgan, it has Grace on it, it has Dwight on it, it has Daniel on it, it has Alicia, Luciana, Strand, John, June, literally everyone, Charlie, everyone except for Sarah and Wendell. So there's that question of, is this poster accurate? I mean, for one thing, it's kind of a spoiler if they did that, but I mean, maybe they're desperate for ratings or something, so they released a poster showing who's still alive in, in the back half of the season. 
but if it's accurate, then all those characters are still alive in Episode 9, except for Sarah and Wendell, because Sarah and Wendell are not on the poster. So maybe that's the big moment in Episode 8. Maybe that's the big plot twist. Maybe Logan kills Sarah and Wendell. I mean, Episode 8 usually has a big event, Maybe that's the cliffhanger. You know, we're going to have the resolution to the radiation, I, I believe, because the, the plant's going to melt down. The characters are either going to get away or they're not. <laughs> the, it, the, the radiation shouldn't be a, a part of the, the story um, in Episode 9, unless it's the characters that are sick and dying. The whole thing with them escaping on the plane and the plant melting down, that should be resolved in Episode 8. It should be resolved in Episode 8. It, it will be. I'm, I'm telling you, it will be resolved in episode 8 that's going to conclude the first half of the season kind of end it as its own story so the second half of the season Logan might be the main villain so maybe that's the big moment you know him killing Sarah and Wendell that's the big moment that gets all the fans talking and and going oh crap you know during the two month the two month break you know oh crap Logan killed Sarah and Wendell maybe that's the big cliffhanger maybe that's the big scene of the episode I'm just saying this because it kind of adds up and it would be a good way to sort of uh, escalate Logan as as a as a more of a real villain villain, and not just a guy that that kind of screwed them over and told them to fuck off. So maybe Logan does kill Sarah and Wendell, or maybe just Sarah. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 567 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 600 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 600. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes and I will see you guys later. Bye.